from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making cheesy sweet potato and kale bake. So let's get started. For this recipe you need to preheat your oven to about 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit and get yourself a baking dish. I'm using one with a lid. If you don't have a lid for yours just use some foil to seal it up and keep all the moisture in and make it really really delicious. So the size of this is about two quarts or two litres in capacity and I'm adding in some sliced sweet potato. So just thinly sliced and I've probably got about 600 grams worth. So basically just enough to fill your dish that you're using. And remember the conversions for this to make it imperial are on my website at cookingwithplants.com so you can print the whole recipe and use either metric or imperial measurements to make this. So next I'm also adding in a small bunch of kale. So with the kale I've removed the stems so just slide it off the stem and use the leaves only. Now that you've filled your dish just set that aside while you make the cheesy sauce. For the cheesy sauce I'm going to be using a blender and what I've done is soaked half a cup of almonds so these are blanched almonds without the skin, but you could use any nuts that you like. So half a cup of cashew nuts or some macadamia nuts would be great also. And put those into your blender. What I've done is soak those for about half an hour in some hot boiled water and then drained it off. That'll just help make it super creamy. Okay, so next I'm adding two cups of vegetable stock. And this is a salted stock, so I'm not going to add extra salt into this. But if you find that you're using a non-salted stock and it's not salty enough for you once you've blended up this sauce, just add salt to your own taste. And I'm also adding in half a cup of plant-based milk. I'm using soy milk, but any non-sweetened milk would be perfect, such as an almond milk or a rice milk. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of miso paste. So this is a white soy miso paste, but if you're allergic to soy, you could also use a chickpea miso or a brown rice miso paste. Next, I'm adding in one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of granulated onion, and one fourth or quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. And also going in is one tablespoon of tahini paste and then give it a good blend up. So this has been blending for about close to two minutes and it's all smooth and creamy and ready to add to the sweet potato. And just carefully pour your cheesy mixture into your casserole dish. Just making sure you evenly spread that across the top. Oh, that smells so good. The hard part of this recipe will be waiting for it to cook. Can't wait to have this for my lunch. What I'm going to do now is just top this with a little bit of paprika. You could also sprinkle it with some nutmeg. That would be great also. And that's it. Lid on and ready to go in the oven. Okay, so this has been in the oven for about half an hour now. And what I'm going to do is just check if the sweet potato is done and then just pop it back in the oven if you need to. So I'll just test this. So we still need a little bit longer there. So just give that a stir through at this point. Make sure that everything is really well combined. Mm, it just smells so yummy. I'm really looking forward to this. It's just not cooking fast enough today. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All right, so I'm going to put this back in the oven for about another 20 minutes and it'll be ready to serve. So this has been baking in the oven for a total of 50 minutes now and it smells so, so good. So remember at that half hour mark, just check it every 10 minutes or so just to make sure it's cooked to your liking. Oh, I have to give this a try. I've been dying to try this. I'm so hungry. Oh, it smells super good. Mmm. Oh, 
years. Mm -mm. This would normally serve about four people as a side, but I might just have all of this as a main meal for my lunch today. It just smells great, tastes great, really, really easy to make. Give this recipe a try. Remember, you can print the recipe off my website and I'd love to see you make this and send some photos to me via Facebook or Instagram. Yum, give it a try. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. I put out two new recipes each and every week and I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Bye for now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm.